Starting today, Uber is requiring all drivers to take a mask selfie before selecting a ride. Once they submit their photo, they are able to select their ride and pick up their passengers. The passengers are also required to wear a mask before entering the car. They must sit in the back seat and wear the mask until the duration of the ride. More than likely, you have stopped and filled up your gas tank, and you may have noticed a spike in gas prices. According to Gas Buddy, the state average in Texas is 307. And as we head into the weekend, prices are expected to jump even more. Uh, um, Eve, um, you know, the special she did on 2020, uh, I think it was really back in 2018. And so did you find out the story, like, through watching that? Like, were you curious, like, seeing if that was similar to your story, or did you find out another way? So I actually, I actually found out um, a totally different way. And it's kind of a funny, it's not a funny story. But what is a funny story is that actually when E's story was out on 2020, uh, one of my friends who's a coworker of mine, she's one of our nurses was telling me about it. And I don't know, I guess I was not honestly not listening to everything she was saying, because if I would have heard her say Nacogdoches, I would have known like, you know, my ears perk up and, and listen, but you would say you're managing it pretty well. Like, cause this is of course something that nobody saw coming. I think I am, but it, it's just frustrating. Yeah. Um, and I think anyone who works with me can agree how frustrating this is because it's hard enough to have someone do an assignment in class, let alone at home where either they don't have the resources that they need or they're not quite understanding or they just don't want to do it. And then what do you miss the most right now? I just miss my kids. I miss interactions. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you can now drop off your pup at the Nacogdoches High School Doggy Day Spa. Agriculture science teacher Jerry Cobb thought of the idea five years ago when he discovered his students only knew three to four different dog breeds. So the idea came up, um, we were going over breeds of dogs in our small animal management class. And dogs that I thought were very obvious breeds to know, that kids should know, they weren't knowing them. They only knew what a, uh, a dachshund was, a chihuahua, and a pit bull. So they didn't know a lab, a golden retriever, an Australian shepherd, things that most people understand. So I thought of it as how can I get hands-on experience with them learning breeds of dogs. Small animal management class gives a chance for students to have hands-on experience with the dogs that are dropped off. They wash them, blow dry, clip nails, and take them out for a walk on a campus grounds. The only thing we ask is you bring us a shot record just in case an accident does happen and the student does get bit. They must be updated on their um, all their vaccines. Uh, the prices is $15 to $20, just depending on what size your dog is. If your dog is 15 pounds and under, it is $15. If they're 16 and over, it's $20. 11th grader C. Lightly Garcia tells us why she chose this class and why she enjoys it. I chose this class because I want to be a veterinarian, and I think it's going to help me experience more things. I enjoy everything about it because like, I get to deal with rabbits, which I never did before. I think it's a nice experience. I'm with dogs, too. For kids that are maybe interested in this class, it's a very hands-on class. The only time we've sat in the classroom was the very first four Four weeks? Yeah, the very first four weeks of school, and that's when we learned how to handle the dogs, we learned how to handle rabbits, the proper safety of all that. And then ever since then, we are handling live animals every single day. For SFA News, Backpack Journalism, this is Mariella Gonzalez. Hair salons such as Follow Your Arrow Nacogdoches are telling clients to put a stop to their at-home hair experiments and are welcome to book an appointment with them, of course, with a few safety precautions. I sat down with Elizabeth Castro, the owner of Follow Your Arrow, and talked about the effects she encountered during the mandatory shutdown due to COVID-19 and after when she was able to open her doors once again. It closed down for like about a month and a half and it really affected me. I mean, I had no income for about a month and a half and I luckily made it, but I was very scared that if they closed down for longer, I would have to close down permanently. You have to work to make money in this profession. Luckily for her, she was able to get back into business. Like I was booked all the way up to like two months after, oh. yeah, which was good. You know, they all wanted to get their hair done. I guess like that's one thing that kind of like brings everybody back to normal or makes them feel like it's going back to normal is like getting your hair done. You know? As a few more steps were added to her routine at work. 
back open we have to be extremely careful we can only have one client per stylist and after we disinfect with hospital grade disinfectant we make sure and then i have this little um, led light that i set up after i leave and it's supposed to disinfect even more so i've just been trying to be very careful and you know always use masks the same with my clients they come in with masks mm -hmm leaves we like to spray the chairs down with barbicide and make sure to get them wet and I let them sit for about like one or two minutes because it takes that long for the chemical to actually disinfect and then after that we just wipe them down like barbicide which is our disinfectant and everything like it was like way more expensive when we came back and we also had to limit like our supplies like they would only like sell us like one or two bottles of everything because everything was like i guess like they weren't producing enough at the factory so everything was on shortage and on backup order and it was kind of hard at first with like supplies elizabeth said that she's just glad to have her clients back in the chair glad that we're able to work again honestly like it makes me feel like we are going back to normal even though we have to take all these extra steps like it's fine for us to fay news this is mariella gonzalez